Right, here we are. Hello. Welcome to Arms United. Um, uh, I'm Stel, and you may notice uh, Dan here, who uh, has been on quite a few review shows uh, after uh, several several games. Never uh, whilst over. Welcome to your first preview show, Dan. Um, and that's our penultimate uh, game of the season, our last home game. We've come to uh, our wonderful Super Dan. What do you make yeah. of Southampton? Tell me. What do I make of Southampton? Oh, just just survived a troublesome three, bottom three, didn't they? Not doing too well. I mean, the, the last run of games, they've had, the last like five games have got one point more than us. So they're doing better than they have been. But as a team, well, I don't know. As a team, I don't like them. <laughs> Personal opinion, that bloody song. Good away day, though. It is a good little away day. Good curry down there. Good curry. Good curry few pubs. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah, just absolutely. take away from Yates's and find a quite little pub like we do, it's a good yeah. away day. Exactly. You've got to know the locals down there to take you to the right places. <laughs> I wouldn't mix with locals from down there. Not from any such <laughs> town. He's a West Ham local, <laughs> but there you go. So, um, Southampton, um, you said, you know, they've... Uh, They've they've had a, a bit of a, a bit of a decent run the last few games. Or uh, look, they've had a win and two draws, I believe, and two defeats against our win and one draw and three defeats. So they're on they're on a better run than us at the moment, but yeah. not that it's going to help them. <laughs> Why do you say that? Do you think uh, they've got anything that's going to um, uh, surprise us? Uh, anything that we're going to need to worry about? Uh yeah, Long and Redmond, that's that's what I'd worry about. I'd worry about them more concerned about um, jumping or trying to get ahead of Brighton. They've got an easy game finishing, but they've got Huddersfield at home next week. So they could be looking to pick up six points, a bit of uh, damage, like damage control, finish uh-huh. off the season with a couple of decent wins. And, uh, yeah. So do you think, um, you, you don't think that we've got much to concern ourselves with? I mean, they've got a couple of players out injured. There's Yoshida and Vestergaard are out. Uh, Lamina could start, who's a fairly decent player. He's back from injury. Um, you've mentioned uh, Redmond and, uh, Ink, and uh, Shane Long. What about Ward-Prowse? You know, uh, there's a lot of people that, excuse me, that have raved about him this season. He's... Uh, he scored seven goals himself. Uh, any little player, someone that West Ham might want to have in the future? He's someone worth looking at. I mean, if a game is scored, if a player scoring goals in a team as bad as Southampton, he must have something special about him, mustn't he? <laughs> so, I mean, their goals, their goals are terrible, aren't they? Like the, what they've been scoring. So I think they're having. What, what are they having? I well, think they've got scored... one point, like one point two <clears throat> two games of scoring per match. All right, it's only like point three above us, but we're West Ham. Stats don't matter to us. <laughs> but ironically, you know, when you look at the stats, I mean, they've only won nine games this season. We've won thirteen. We've had the same number of losses, sixteen losses each. And I and I, and again, you know, when goals come, uh, they've only scored one goal less than us. But mind you, they've conceded a lot more. They've conceded 61 to our 54. So we are marginally better. But that's the thing. We're only marginally better. So um, Points-wise, think- yes. But the, the, I think the way they've managed to stay up this, this season is the 11 points they've had on draws. 11, 11 draws this season yeah. like for nine wins and 16 mm-hmm. losses. It's, it's crazy. So are they like us where they only start playing when they're a goal behind or what? Yeah, 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 true. Or, or as we keep saying, we only play when we play against the big teams. Uh, um, and so are we going to turn up for against a team like Southampton tomorrow? No disrespect to Southampton, uh, but, you know, when I... You're not big, a big team. <laughs> they're not a big team, but uh, yeah. I guess what I mean is, you know, against the top, we only seem to turn up against the top six. Um, yeah. And and uh, so are we gonna are we going to take them a little bit for granted tomorrow? Or, uh, I hope not. I, I would hope not. I mean, we know, you know what I mean, standing there, the amount of times we've done post interviews where we get a decent win and then we go and play someone in the bottom bottom half of the table or the bottom six of the table and we're like, this is a comfortable one. Oh, 
and you say, Pitt, well, we're going to win, score five, we're going to score six, and we walk away losing 2 1 or something. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You've got to take it in, not get too excited. It could happen, but I'm not worried. I mean, hopefully, the team is not only going to be like not taken for granted, I would hope they're still buzzing off last weekend. Absolutely. Well, let's talk a little bit about and last weekend. Still got the confidence in them. You and I, you and I were there last weekend. What we did you make indeed. of our performance? Very good. Very good. I mean, it's nice to go out of a team that are in the top tier of the table. Not a big yeah. team, just a team in the top tier of the table. It is nice <laughs> to go out, and it's always nice to beat them. I mean... I myself, I think they're insignificant, but they seem to think we're a big rival, so it's always nice to shut them up, especially yeah, when, well, especially when they spat on about saving themselves for the Champions League. And yeah, they well, stuff well, by yeah. A toilet yeah. cleaner, don't they? <laughs> and uh, and as they kept saying, you know, it was our FA, it was our cup final, and uh, I think the answer to that. that as a as a little backdrop either so but yeah last weekend you and I were there it was uh the atmosphere was unbelievable and when that yeah. goal went in and we saw the way that that pass was chipped over to Antonio from an Artovic and the way and usually Antonio when he gets the ball in that in that area that kind of area he smashes it over the bar you know he does flap uh, a bit but yeah he does but he smashed that right in the back of the net didn't he last Saturday a brilliant yeah. finish brilliant yeah. finish I don't know if you remember, as we were talking about when um, Antonio come back from injury and everyone, oh, he's put on the timber and yeah, yeah. he's lost his way. Yeah. And I was saying, we did exactly the same with Joe Cole. We got him to build up so he won't get pushed off the ball and he wasn't as good. Mm-hmm. So, and the same, but thankfully, they've seen the area of their ways. Antonio's lost the timber and he's back to being the Antonio we know and love. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and the question is, is an Outovich back to the an Outovich we know and love? I mean, the he's West trying. We'll get, bring on over to West try. In we'll get on to them. Let's just finish with uh, with Southampton, and then we'll start talking about about our team. So, um, so you don't think we've got much to worry about tomorrow? You think uh, there's not that much there um, that we need to be afraid of? Um, you know, they. You know, since uh, Hassan Holton, I don't know what his name is, Hassan Holton, since their new manager has taken over, they do have, they look. Do look like a bit of a transformed team. They, uh, you know, uh, they haven't had. You said they've had an awful lot of uh, draws, but they've they've had 29 points out of their last 21 games, which has taken them to safety. You know, and uh, they, they do they do they're easy on the eye. You know, they do play quite. You know, but then that might that might actually suit us because uh, we don't like playing against a team that sort of knock us around. So um, you know, we can play against a team that. Uh, can play attractive football because we can give it back, which which seems to be the Pellegrini way. Yeah, you know, so um, we can get I'm stuck kind of, in and then add a bit of flair. Absolutely, yeah, I'm kind of with you. I think uh, I don't think we got we got much, you know we've got to look at we've got to respect them, but uh, yeah, it's our last game. At, it's our last game at the stadium this season. I think I think we've got to go out on a high, haven't we? And yeah, you, built on built on what we did last weekend. At uh, at that toilet, um, uh, I think we should uh, step up tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get on to the team. Let's go on to West Ham. So uh, um, we talked a little bit about. I mean, we've been playing well the last few weeks. I mean, we've had some bad bad decisions go against us. Very bad. Games, you know, man, you game. You know, but we played well in those games. We played all right against Leicester. We didn't play yeah. brilliant, but we played decent. You know, we played really that's, well against yeah. Manu. That's a bit of a worry going into this one, as I was going to say just now, is it's the end of the season. And, you know, players aren't too worried about picking up a card or two or getting away on their holidays a bit early. So, I mean, the way these decisions have been going, hopefully no one does get stuck in and thinks, oh, well, I'll pick up a yellow, it'll be gone, blah, blah, blah. So that's, that's a little bit of a worry because we have been flying in on the defence. They've been coming in a bit strong, but that's it. But that's don't you think, that. don't you think I don't it's a good thing? 
Don't you think that's a good thing, though, for West Ham to start showing a little bit of steel in, in, in their oh, defense, uh, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. oh, they've got to be clever about it. You know, they don't want to get red cards and stuff. But well, when uh, you think of all the players, the legends, it's flare, a bit of flair in midfield, a bit, do you know what I mean, in striking, and a bit of grit in defense. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. That's, that's what exactly. we like and that's what we need. But it's just a worry where for ease, isn't it? The way. That's, I think that's probably the most I worry about of every, any game is who the referee is, who yeah. the line is. I don't even know who's refing at the weekend. I don't I want to. do, but I don't either, I'm afraid. No, I don't uh, want to know. But let's hope it's not the Lino that was uh, uh, doing the touchline at Spurs last weekend because he was shit. I was... You know? And even, even do, you, do you remember at one point, you know, Nartovic had two or three players on him getting yeah. hacked. And then the line, I had a go at him. That was right in front of me. Do you know what I mean? I was second row and I heard it. And like, we're all shouting. He's just, I think it was in like the first 10 minutes or something. There was like four offsides. He never even picked up on. He wasn't keeping up with the ball. He wasn't keeping yeah. up with the players. He was always at, at an angle. Do you know what I mean? Looking across. Mm-hmm. So, which I don't like. So, we've had a few like that. Last few games, line, I was putting their flag up. Going the wrong way against us. But, yeah. I mean, you can't... It's, it's one thing, it's frustrating, but we need to be better than that to counteract. And that's why those teams that are up there, they pick themselves up, they do it again. They do it again. Yeah. Walk off and go, oh, oh, the Lino made a bad decision. If the Lino makes one bad decision, two bad decisions, it doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. Eyes yeah. on the prize. Yeah. So... Our team, we've got apparently, um, uh, according to uh, Pellegrini in his uh, press conference, Lanzini's back, Nazri's back, Creswell's back, uh, Sanchez is back. He's got, you know, we, we know Wiltshire's already back. He's got virtually a whole a whole squad to pick from, apart from Andy Carroll and uh, and uh, Yarmolenko. Oh, and, and, and the forgotten man, I, I found this really hilarious. The link I sent you lot earlier on about uh, certain West Ham fans seem to be bemused by the forgotten man, you know, Reed. Reed. has been out fucking injured for the past two seasons, so I don't understand how anyone, you know, and, uh, but other than that, we've got, he's got a full squad to pick from. We, we, I think Snodgrass is definitely uh, out for this one, isn't he, because of his, uh, um, his ban. I'm pretty certain he must be. Because uh, it was up, it was. We've uh, got, the yeah. So we've got, go on, mate. You know, we've got so many to choose from. There's no point running someone into the ground or taking the risk of having to use a sub up after 10 minutes because they've gone off. No point, you know, taking a chance of injuring a player, whether it's for next season or it's going to knock a few digits off their price come the transfer window. Yeah, just no need for it. So. so Talk to me about, um, I mean, you know, we start off with a goalie. I mean, there can't be any other, can there? Fabianski will start. We're waiting for him to be confirmed as Hammer of the Year. Um, you'd start him or would you give uh, Adrian a couple of games as a farewell gesture? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, no, it's Fabianski for me. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Team before anything else. Agreed, agreed. Um, and then at the back, would you change what was uh, start what started last week, or would you keep the same back four? I'd keep the same back four. Uh, I'd probably bring in our new signing or our re-signing. I'd give him a little run out. Who's that then? What do you, what do you mean who's that then? Our new signing. Our new <laughs> signing. A brand new signing we've already had, haven't we? We, we <laughs> signed him on for another year, haven't we? We've signed oh, him Zaps. Year. Sabs, would you play him over uh, over Fredericks? Fredericks had a good game last weekend. No, but I'd bring him on. Oh, you bring him on. I'd bring him oh, on. Yeah. I'd give him a run one. out. Just give him a run out for the crowd. I guess. I guess that's what I meant with Adrian as well. Would you give Adrian a half? Uh, not a half. Maybe fifteen minutes. I mean, he is going. I mean, it looks like he definitely yeah. is. You know, it's uh, a shame because he's. I mean, it's one of them things. We like Adrian. Um, but and he's great to have as a second choice. Yeah. But he's better than a second choice keeper. Yeah. I yeah. think. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't know where he'd go, but I mean, he's done so well for us. I mean, I don't think he's as good as he was. 
We've seen that when he's played against the likes of Wimbledon. Um, oh, how we how we thought he was good, and now and now Fabianski's here, and how good a keeper can be. Fabianski's been no, absolutely. Just, if you're not getting games, you're not keeping on form. You're not getting better. And he's he's done nothing, is he? He's just come on and played against smaller teams for us. So yeah. it probably is time to go. But yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd wait. I wouldn't give him a half unless we were three 0 up or something. To be honest, mm-hmm. just because again, what's happened at games like Wimbledon, where he's yeah. been in, been the keeper. Yeah. But you, but you'd give Zabaleta a run out to say. Um, but w- would you though? I mean, he's back here next season, so would it be yeah, as important just, to give Zabaleta I mean, a run out? I, I like the way he, he's. I mean, despite his age, he's still got the pace. He's still got the presence. He gets the balls into the box. You know what I mean? He's almost like a defender and a winger in one. If you yeah. bring him on, if you bring him on towards the end of the game, he's a fresh pair of legs. And yeah, he'll, true. And he'll do. Uh, he'll get the ball up there. And uh, what about the other side? Creswell's back fit. Would you bring him back, or would you keep step over mass in the team? It's almost like as if you, you're now starting to make me think: Are we going to play wing backs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I'd get Cresswell. Give Cresswell a run out. Definitely. I would, but yeah. you know, but you know, you, you know, there's a lot of West Ham fans that love uh, Masawaku. I, I, I personally can't see why. You know, yeah, he's had a couple of decent games the last few games. Uh, yeah, a West Ham fan. Decision making. His decision making is still pretty bad. He had a decent game, but his decision making still pretty bad. He hangs on to the ball when he shouldn't. You know, he should cross the ball when he, you know, uh, he, quicker. He, he never gives the ball away, but he can't pass. If you say what a lot of West Ham fans like, a lot of West Ham fans like spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on Stone Island badges and throwing points up in the air. Do you know what I mean? Who cares? <laughs> who, who cares what they like? <laughs> and what about the centre? Diop and Balbuena? They look of good. Course. Diop. I mean, of course. That I mean, he, 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 he kept us in that game at the weekend. He saved us. Like, clearing off the line like that, especially at the death. Yeah, oh. absolutely. absolutely. So uh, let's go into midfield. We know Snodgrass ain't going to play. Or, or I'm, I'm guessing that he is banned for it. Um, so uh, Noble and Rice, keep them there. Noble and Rice, yeah. Noble, Rice and Anderson. OK. Now, Noble uh, in his uh, column today, in his uh, evening standing column today, uh, complained about the way he was treated by Pellegrini, you know, that he doesn't like being brought off. Um, you know, uh, being subbed during a game. And he's made reference, although he has tried to back, you know, to sort of say that, you know, uh, it may not be any different, but he's made reference that he doesn't like being brought off. And every time he's been brought off, other teams have scored. Now, um, I actually think that's a bit shitty for him to have said that because it kind of implies that anyone that comes in in his place isn't as good as him. You know, that's what that's what that implies. I'm, I'm sure Noble didn't mean it in that way, but it kind of implied that. So, um, well, regardless of, of, you know, what I mean, regardless of what you're saying about other players, you've got to stick with your team. Do you know what I mean? If he's got a problem, talk to the manager. Yeah. Don't go rain off to Jerno spouting off. Yeah. Don't go on the media. We know one of the biggest issues we've had, especially in recent years at West Ham is when there's animosity in a team. Yeah. When and that, back- please, that, don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that there is. Uh, and I'm not... You but know, it could cause just, that. Yeah, it could cause that. And I'm yeah. just surprised that Noble kind of said that. And, and I'm sure he doesn't mean it in a bad way. No. But it was quite an interesting comment for him to make. A bit, bit, you know, a bit arrogant. Because uh, we know we know he's, uh, he's not the Noble that we, you know, that was two, three years ago. His legs are going... You know, so I can see why. Mate, to be honest, I think at the moment, at the moment, he's better than he was two, three years ago. Well, he's, he's no longer a crab. He's no longer knocking the ball back. Well, in, in my opinion, that so, I'll, I'll, I'll keep judgment on that. I, but yeah. I, let, 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 let's be honest. I'll, I'll always give credit where credit's due. Again, he's been a player that's picked himself up in the last few games. Yeah. And he's played well, and he led well last weekend as well against Spurs. He so, did, yeah. yeah. But if he's got a problem with a manager, go to his office. Yeah, that's agreed. it. Don't 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 have an argument in the paper. Yeah, and then uh, we go to the front line. So um, uh, who 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 would you would you keep Antonio? Would you keep Anatovic? Who would you play with those two? We've got a choice. 
Nasri's back, Wiltshire's back, Lanzini's back. Of those three, if if we were to assume that Antonio and uh, and uh, Anatovic were going to keep their places, oh, there's also Hernandez. There's also so Hernandez. Four, also, so yeah. of those four, who would you give that last berth to in the team? I would go for Antonio Anatovic, and then look, and then from there look at the subs if it, they wasn't producing. But there's still one place to go because we've already said. Fabianski, Fredericks, Diop, Balboa. Lanzini's uh, a given. We, we don't need to go for that. Lanzini's Noble, a given. Right. Okay. Yeah. Over, over and above Nazri. If you think I'm going to say Ogbonna, you're mad. It's Lanzini. I'm not going to say Ogbonna, mate. You know, <laughs> although he has been our best defender this season. But anyway. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. So, basically, you'd have Lanzini straight back in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would. um, Um, And then maybe I don't know. The thing is, we've got some players like Nasri. You haven't got to put him in a full position. He could take over from Noble. Take Noble off. That's teach him, wouldn't it? He's going to go off. He's going to go off if he said that. Yeah. So maybe maybe stick Nasri in now. What about Wilshire? Wilshire. What's the point? What's the fucking point? (laughs) What? You fought me on to do this knowing I speak my mind and I don't care about other people's opinions. I don't care about <laughs> setting anyone. What is the point? Yeah. Let him let him recover. I mean, poor guy. I mean, he's come to us. We knew he's injured. West Ham have done a scan on him. They've noticed that from the surgery he had, he had a pin that's come out of the plate. He's growing in his leg. It's not his own fault. Yeah. But let him rest. Don't rush him back. It's a long way to August. Let him have a couple of months in the sun. Do you ever think he will come back? I mean, I know he's back, but do you ever where's he going to go? Yeah, where's he going to go? Yeah. Well, I've been saying we should loan him out next season. Yeah. You know, we won't be able to sell him, so I would say loan him out. Give him, give him that opportunity to play somewhere else and prove himself for six months. Well, we could you do know? that. We could. The thing is, we wouldn't loan him out to a Premiership club. Probably not. And then the lower leagues are a bit more. Boisterous? Could he? Yeah. Could he, but I mean, Go. do you know what I mean? I'd say, I'd say, loan him out to Charlton. Yeah, but he won't off go other to, South London clubs. As you said, though, he won't go to a lower league club. So you could either see him going to a lower Premiership league, like Bourne, when he went to Bournemouth, yeah. or you could see him going maybe abroad for a season. If, if it depends on what I mean, from what we understand, Pellegrini is going to take a really good look at the whole squad throughout the summer. You know, he's going to really scrutinise the whole squad. And he's also going to look at uh, several youngsters. There's also talk, potentially, that Holland um, might might get a look in for tomorrow's game. You know, he's another prospect. Um, As I was going to say, what will Jack Wilshire do next season when Samuelson comes back? Well, there's, see, there's another youngster. But he's been a youngster for a bit too long now, Samuelson. Do you really think he will end, end up breaking through? You well, know, uh, I mean, wherever he's gone, he's been like... He's picked up a Wolves, any player of the season and stuff like that. He's scoring goals whether he's in the UK or abroad. I mean, he's been with us since he was with us last season at the Bolin. I think we brought him in. I think he, you're played, right, yeah. he played in a friendly against Werma. I think he played against who else did he play against? He played against Astragugo. So he's had a few high profile all right, either friendlies or Europa games and, and he and he has impressed. So you know, yeah. wonder are they sending him off to get experience to mature for his body to mature a bit because he yeah. is a bit lightweight, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So what do you hope for um, uh, for, for this game? What, what do you think we're gonna uh, the results gonna be against uh, Southampton tomorrow? Three one. Who's gonna score? Straight down the line. Uh, for us. Yeah. Right, it'll be own goal by. No. <laughs> Um, I think one for Antonio, one for Anatovic. I think he's due one, isn't he? He's due one. He's now. been due one for quite some time. Yeah. yeah. One yeah. for Antonio, one for Anatovic, and they set up each other. And then maybe a sub, maybe Chikorito will come on. Score one third. away. Or maybe, yeah. you know, it's it's hard to choose, isn't it? Lanzini's always possible. Anderson. Ogbonna might score a header. <laughs> of it's the, 
the irony of it all, though, mate, is, you know, now that the season's finished, everyone's coming back from, uh, to fitness. You know, couldn't we have done, you know, we could have well done with some of these players halfway through the season, especially after Christmas, you know, when we had that great run. And, yeah. Uh, it would have been nice to keep the, 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 you know, the team fresh by having players available. And it, yeah. now the irony, you know, Sanchez is back, Wiltshire's back, Nasri's back, Lanzini's yeah. back. It's like, you know... Yeah, but, not uh, yeah, not just like to keep the team fresh, but to put pressure on other players so they know they've got to compete for their place. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Well, I'm going to go for uh, I was going to go for a three-one, so I'm going to say they're not going to score, so I'm going to go for the three-nil. Um, and uh, that, I know that's a tall order, but I think uh, I think you know if last weekend hasn't given us the, the boost that we need to finish off the last two games of the season on a high, then I don't think, I don't know what we're... So, like so any other any other comments we uh, shoot off? Well, that's that then. Thanks a lot for your time. Um, see you tomorrow at uh, what time are we meeting up? Uh, what does it matter? You'll be late. <laughs> Half 11 it is then. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast, beer and, and breakfast. then uh, Start our champions. Yeah, and then on on to Stour uh, Supporters yeah. Club. By the way, if you agree, disagree, uh, have your own opinions of what we've said. What do you think? You know, do you think Adrian might start as a farewell? Uh, do you think should Zavaleta he should he come on? on? Should he come or yeah? Do you do you think Creswell should start over Masuaku or should Masuaku keep his place? What do you think of Noble in his comments? Who else do you think will start? Um, do you think that um, uh, Lanzini will play up front with uh, Antonio and uh, Anatovic? Do you think Anatovic is back? You know, he looked good last week. Give us your comments. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your mates. Yeah, We're going to go definitely. even bigger next season. So watch out for all the videos and the podcasts and, uh, and our Facebook lists. And, all that. and my list. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a taste of my list if you have a look on our Facebook group uh, later on tonight. And that's that. So uh, cheers, Daniel. Cheers, all. See you all again tomorrow. tomorrow when I've had a few of them. And get you. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. He doesn't know how to do it.